uh, yesterday morning and it was kind of a mess. So we had a taxi strike here and it totally foiled our plans. We ended up taking a bus to, now we're in Sorrento. We're here to kind of acclimate a little bit um, and just get over our jet lag. We slept about 18 hours. I think we're on schedule now. We got up, had breakfast, but I feel like that's a good plan. Rest up, get on the schedule, and I thought it was good to get out in the sunshine. So we're out here taking a walk right along the water. But our plan is to go to Capri in a few days. So we kind of built in this buffer to acclimate, rest up, get over jet lag before we go to Capri where we want to make the most of our time. So we're really taking it easy here. Um, still really beautiful, but then after Capri, we're gonna go to Positano. After Positano, we're going up to Laiatico for the concert with Andrea Bocelli. So that's really why we're here. Now's our chance after two years. But yeah, we go to Laiatico. We're there for a long time because we needed to book the um, hotel for a few days. I think six nights to stay there and then we're going to Florence and then we'll fly out. So we're going to take you with us but definitely decompressing today. Of breath because we just went up all these stairs. Um, we're headed to pizza though. Very traditional Neapolitan pizza. So we will see you there. Hopefully I'll catch my breath by then. We've done about 11,000 steps so far today. Ready for pizza. We are headed to Capri. That was actually our primary destination in this area. But we left Sorrento the second time because we stayed at a hotel closer to the square. Um, the last time we stayed in a hotel, it was like a 20 euro cab ride to just the center. So we didn't really leave the area of our hotel. We are waiting for our ferry to Capri. And we're staying at a hotel that we stayed at three years ago. And we'll see our friends and the cats at Gato Bianco. It's a little boutique hotel, but it's right in the center of town. Uh, so we'll show you, hopefully we'll get a nice room. They upgraded us last time, so we'll see what we get this time. 
but the location is one of the best spots you can stay in unless you want to pay a lot more for a hotel but it's right in the center of town so we will be on the ferry we're just waiting here I got some very exciting water for my drink and we have about an hour so we'll be on the ferry very soon actually two really of our destinations that we really wanted to go to so we've arrived we're at Gato Bianco which we've stayed at three years ago we're back it's such a charming little hotel if you're ever looking for one right in the heart of the city so we love the location too staff is wonderful but we're about to go to dinner at Le Camarel which is where we went three years ago as well they have a like a salted fish like a branzino I think so we'll probably order that it was really good but I will take you with us We are here in uh, Elena Shop, which is really beautiful. Um, I'm going to show you around a little bit. Are all of the pieces handmade? Yes. All of all, everything but the hats are handmade here. And we have, do you want to say hi? No. Hello. Don't tell them your name. Antonio. Antonio. So this is their shop. Everything's handmade. You're going to have an online store soon. Soon, <laughs> soon because these pieces are beautiful, and I know a lot of you really really appreciate handmade really well done things so i will definitely post when when you're available online we do any any sites uh, any for example anytime we do so the the bedroom with the now we we ship to us with the one order with the with the initial no oh yeah On monogram the, yes mon mon monogram also oh, this lovely. one with the with the logo oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. anytime we do we, we make order for the yacht Oh, yachts. Oh, for the, the yachts. sorry. <laughs> and uh, also for the hotel with the sweet wow. name. Oh, yes, yes.
someone's gonna iron my clothing for me. Thank you. Good evening. We spent the day shopping, <laughs> more shopping. We went to a vintage store. They sell vintage pre-owned designer bags. I found a Prada bag, but I'm not really a Prada person, but it was very cute. So I consulted my sister to see if it was something I should get and it's seasonal. I'm still thinking about it. It's very cute. I think it's from the early um, 2000s, maybe 2006. Very cute though, so I'm still considering it. And then we met some friends who were here actually from our hometown. They were here as well just for a day, so we had lunch with them. And then we went back to Arturi Caprese and my husband picked up some shoes, some shoes. But we also need to pick up, oh, this dress I'm wearing is from there. And my sister wanted one, and they have one in navy as well. Um, so we're gonna go there. And then my dad wanted two shirts from there, so we're gonna pick those up for him and then my husband wanted some shoes I think that's it that we're gonna do but we're gonna go out to dinner we got reservations at Aurora which is I guess difficult to get reservations for so we're gonna go there for dinner but it's at 10 30 so Antonio helped us out with that so thank you so much Antonio uh, we just stopped by to see if they had reservations they have some at 10 30 so we're gonna go out it's about 8 now it's comfortable now but it's been so so hot very humid so we're gonna go to do that now and we're gonna go to the shop first then we're going to walk around a little bit and then go to dinner so we'll take you it's amazing beautiful <laughs> we are back in the store and I just wanted to show you a couple pieces I love that this is your grandmother's design grandmother's design yes the man. You should have your own YouTube channel, and then you could show the store. You can show how things are made. I don't know, so you start the game now. Um, and they wanted to know if you ship internationally. Yes. 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 Okay. Worldwide. Okay, worldwide. And then we talked about the online store that yes. you're working on it. Yes. And the other question was the aesthetic for the clothing. How yeah. did how did you get the idea for the style? So the first is, is, is inspiration is from Capri. That's the first. My grandmother-in-law. The first designer is, uh, is she, no? It's just with the classic kaftan, with the Capri, no? It's the first in, uh, inspiration is from Capri. Uh, 15 different linen, from wa waterproof, from jersey linen, oh. from uh, Edinburgh linen. We do just uh, just linen, but in different fabric. We don't do anything uh, fabrics, no cashmere, no silk. You do linen and you do it really well. Yeah, yeah they do. They do and it really, proud. really well. Yes. <laughs> We're just on a walk, trying to find a little place to eat. 
but it's all uphill. You earn it. We're gonna earn it. We went to Villa Yovis last time. It's actually closed today and we're not going there. It's only a mile away, but it's uphill. They had defibrillators on the way, so if that tells you anything about the um, strain that it takes to get there, but we're hoping to find a little place to eat because we saw one on the way the last time. Hopefully we'll get a nice view though. And these cooling towels have come in very, very handy, as well as the water bottles. <laughs> It's really steep. Pretty views though, I'll show you. And it's very peaceful. It's so cute. Good evening. It's evening again because really it's just so hot during the day that we are mostly spending time inside, inside during the day. We took a little walk earlier, but it just gets too hot and humid. So we took a little nap and then we spend about well, maybe five hours out after this. It's 8 p.m. so we're out till like one o'clock in the morning. So I'm also wearing the top. So I took it like this. I unbuttoned the back and it's off the shoulder. So I'll try and get a full view, but I have shorts on underneath not underneath but with it so it works really well there's a little button in the back actually i tried it also tried it turned around with a button in front it looks really cute but yeah it's comfortable enough now to wear long sleeves because it's like i said it's just so hot uh, so we're gonna go to dinner tonight I'm not sure what we'll do there was a movie or something i don't know soap opera i don't know something was filming in the middle of the square last night so you really never know what you're gonna see so we will go to dinner and kind of walk around and see what we're up to oh also i might get that jumpsuit that my sister got the one at Alturi caprese i was thinking about it it's handmade and i'm never gonna find anything else like it so instead of a bag, I was gonna get a bag. I think I'm gonna get the jumpsuit. So we'll see if I end up with that. And yeah, like I said, see what else we get up to. Miro. Miro. Hi, Miro. Wanna go inside? Wanna go inside, Miro? Thank you. 
I know some of you wanted to see what we got from Auturi Capresi and originally I actually didn't pick up anything for myself but I decided last night to pick something up and then I'll show you what else we got because there are a couple pieces here I forgot to mention they do men's clothing as well so we have a couple of things for my dad and also they do baby clothes These are the shirts. We have this beautiful blue herringbone, so you can see the fabric there. They have several different kinds of linen, and this is one of them. It's got square buttons. It's the prettiest blue shade. And then we have a white shirt. And these are both long sleeve. So these are for dad, but I really think you can see how pretty the fabric is here in the light. And this one is for the little grandbaby, so cute. They have uh, other colors as well, but we chose this one with white and this beautiful sandy shade. So yeah, lots of children's clothing as well. And I just wanted to show you the back as well. It's got buttons all the way down. And this one has my jumpsuit. Again, this one is all handmade hand stitching, no machine on this one. Here's the jumpsuit. I know you can't see the whole thing, but I think you can really see the fabric here, how pretty it is. So this is that herringbone linen. Closely here, you've got a yacht with a water slide on it. <laughs> what a life, huh? Wow, pretty. Villa Brunella. Villa. Oh, it's a hotel. Well, we're eating there tonight. So hopefully we'll get a little view of this. As a little tip, if you want to just get something quick to eat here and you're staying in a hotel, that's what you're doing is picking up something and then coming back here to the room just to eat because it's so hot outside. They have little sandwiches and other snacks that are good for lunch. And here's the wrapping. It's so pretty. It's just a sandwich in here um, and a little rustic pizza with, I think, spinach and ricotta. But yeah, we picked this up for lunch. I'll show you. And that's what we're having for lunch. So that's got sausage and cheese in it, and this one has um, spinach and ricotta. We're headed to dinner right now, and I'm wearing the jumpsuit that I picked up.
like how they have the flowers in those pots up there though. It's really pretty. Hey, gato. Hey, kitty boy. Wow, so pretty. I love these things. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and unbox what I picked up from Chanel in here. Check it out. Yeah, we're not quite sure what this is. Some kind of, oh, it's like a tree root. This is the, my winery. Uh, the name is Maramaldo in Bola Terra. Uh, the, my, the name of my family. Uh, produced in San Gimignano. This is their natural, the authentic white grapes. <laughs> there is no taxi service here. <laughs> So the walk is about 30 minutes.